to Eastern Illinois. Coach Forrester joins us here on the post-game show. And, Coach, uh, your initial thoughts uh, in this one as the Cougars fall? thought our guys played hard. You know, I thought they played hard. Um, didn't do a great job on the, on the offensive glass to start early in the first half. I thought they had 11, offensive, uh, 11 points off the offensive glass uh, in the first half. And, um, you know, then uh, Granger, I mean, he's just a good player for Eastern Illinois. I thought he made some plays down the stretch for them uh, coming off of, and attacking off ball screens. And um, I thought he played a really good game for them. And, uh, you know, but I also like to give our guys a lot of credit, too, because I thought they really played hard and played hard all the way down to the stretch. And, you know, uh, we just didn't make enough plays. Uh, I thought Eastern made more than we did. Um, but a lot of credit to Eastern, but a lot of credit to our guys, too. And uh, you mentioned that first half and especially the offensive boards. They only score two on second-chance points in the second half, and the Cougars out-rebound Eastern Illinois in the second half, so they uh, tighten things up at halftime. Uh, most certainly. You know, I, I thought uh, we did some good things, um, and we got to continue. You know, it's a tough loss for our guys because I know they competed pretty hard tonight, um, you know, but we got another tough one on Saturday against Northern Illinois, and you know, we got to come back ready. But, um, you know, we're, we're making steps and uh, continue to do so. I know we got probably about four or five games left. And, you know, we just got to continue to uh, keep, keep continue to get better. You know, that's that's what I can say. Continue to get better and um, continue to work and put ourselves in position to where, you know, we, we a ball game like this, we, we obviously, we, hopefully we get the opportunity to close it out. 66 points tonight comes from your five starters uh, and only your five starters. Jerome Jones and Mark Yelovich, both very good nights offensively. They were. You know, they, I thought they were pretty good. I thought Jerome made some tough shots down the stretch uh, for us. You know, I thought our guys played extremely well. Um, you know, uh, and those guys got to continue to do that for us um, if we want to have a chance. And um, Chris, I didn't think he shoot the ball particularly well today, and neither did Corey. Thought Corey missed some wide open shot. You know, came coming out of a timeout, um, drew up a play, and he had a wide open three and and missed it. But you know, that's just sometimes that's just how the ball bounced. And you have a quick turnaround, as you mentioned. Uh, the Bracket Buster Games comes up on Saturday. Northern Illinois uh, coming to town, the home finale, and uh, one more chance to play in front of the home fans. Uh, most certainly, you know, we got some seniors on the team that, um, you know, that they're, they're well deserving of of fan, our fans coming out and supporting them a lot, just because of what they've done. You know, you talk about Kevin Steinman, who, you know, made his first commit. He was the first one to commit to us when we went Division One, and. Um, you know, you talk about David Borden, been around in our program and done a tremendous job uh, in the classroom, in the community, and helped us out a lot on the floor. Um, and Corey Wickware, you know, being a second-year guy. So, I, you know, it's going to mean a lot for those guys, um, you know, for, so for fans to come out and support them and, and, and show them how much they appreciate what they've done and help build this program and move it forward. we still got ways to go, uh, but they've done a great job as far as uh, laying a great foundation uh, for us to move forward. Coach, thanks for the time tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's Cougar head coach Lennox Forrester with us here as the Cougars.